In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a new Palo Alto file to Panorama. So this is a new file that I just set up and I have configured the, the management interface and I've changed the administrator password and now we're gonna start setting it up so that it can join Panorama. So we're gonna go to devices, sorry, device. And here under management, I'm gonna give the, the name of the file, PAVM domain at sums.com. That looks good. Under services. Oh, my DNS is already set up. Okay, proxy I don't have. NTP. Service route configuration. Should be everything through the management. Okay. So let me just commit this configuration. And under interfaces, I'm gonna click on management. So I already have my management interface configured with IP address, netmask, default gateway, HTTPS, SSH and ping is fine for me. So that's the only thing we need to do here. Now, in order to connect the file to Panorama, we need to go to dashboard and copy the serial number from the file. Okay, I have a serial number unknown. I have to register my file first and I'll be right back after it's registered. So now I've registered my, my file. So I have a serial number now. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go to my Panorama. So here's my Panorama. If I go now to Panorama, under Summary, I can see all the files that I've, I'm connected to. And I want to add a new one. So I go to Add. I paste my serial number. And I click on Generate Auth Key. And then I click again to copy the Auth Key to, clip, to the clipboard. So it's been copied. Now I go back to my file. And on my file, I go to device, all the way up to setup, management. And here on the right side, you have panorama settings. And then click here on edit. I'm gonna paste first my auth key. And I'm gonna enter my panorama IP address. This is the IP. And that's the only thing that we need to do here. Just be aware here, you, can, you have these options to disable Panorama policy and objects. It means that you, you're gonna manage everything on the file. And you can also disable this device and network templates. Probably you don't want to change these. So I'm just gonna press okay. I, in my environment, I like to manage everything using my Panorama. So I'm gonna click on okay. And now you can see here, Manage by Panorama, and you have Panorama Server, the IP address. And now I'm going to commit this configuration. And now back to Panorama. We need to accept the configuration that we just did. So we're just going to press OK. And we're going to see here on the bottom, Device Group Assigned. There is a serial number with no device groups assigned. And it's showing here under Device State disconnected. We need first to commit the configuration. And if nothing is blocking the connection, we should come here and press reload. And it should show connected as it should be. I've been using this file for other configurations. So I already have under templates and under device groups, my templates configured. So I'm gonna go to the template that I have already done and I'm gonna click on the file and press OK. It means that I'm assigning this file to this template stack. 
and I'm going to go to the device group and do the same for PAVM. Mark here. I'm going to set this one as my user ID master device. And I'm going to commit the configuration to Panorama. So the commit to Panorama is through. If I come back here to summary, I can see that my template has been assigned to the PAVM stack. And that if I go more to the right, I can see that my file, of course, is out of sync because it needs the configuration to be pushed. So if I come here to the symbol on top and set to push to devices, it's going to offer me to push to the PAVM, uh, this, this device group to the PAVM and this template to the PAVM. So I'm going to click on push. It's shown that it failed to, to, to push the configuration. So we're going to do a push by forcing some values. Edit selection. And we're going to say that we want to force the template values. Yes, I want to force. And we're going to click on OK. And then push. So another commit worked. And if you check here on shared policy and template, we can see that it's in sync. And if I go back to my firewall now, I can take a look under policies. All the rules that I have been configuring through Panorama, they are there. And under my objects, I can also see that they are all there. So it has worked. Thank you guys for watching the video until the end. I hope you got some value from this video. And wait, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot. Hit the like button if you like this video. If you want to download the free VPN connection sheet or some cheat sheet from Palo Alto, go to netsums.com slash resources. I'll leave a link in the description and maybe this video here can help you further with the Palo Alto configuration and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.